Hello and welcome to another episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith. Um, it is October 2nd, 2014, and I've decided that for the Halloween season, instead of just posting one review uh, every week, whenever I finish a book, I'm going to just record my review and post it, whatever day of the week it is. Um, and then hopefully, before Halloween arrives, maybe some of you fine folks will pick up some of these good books uh, and read them and give yourself a good scare. Uh, so, uh, the first book for which I am doing this is The Narrows by Ronald Malfi. Uh, this is another Sam Hain book. And uh, what you've got here with The Narrows is uh, the town of Stillwater. It's a small dying town. Um, uh, businesses are closing up. People are moving away. And uh, running alongside the town is a river that the locals call the Narrows. And uh, whenever it storms, uh, the Narrows floods the town, um, doing damage to uh, businesses and homes and and does all sorts of, you know, bad, floody things. <laughs> but uh, this particular year, um, when the Narrows floods, it, uh, it brings something horrific into town. Um, and so there's some uh, livestock mutilations and people going missing. And it's going to take a few brave souls... Uh, uh, residents of Stillwater to uh, figure out what's going on and put a stop to it. Um, now, I didn't know when I chose this book to read at this particular time that it actually takes place uh, right around Halloween. So that was just a little nice bit of serendipity. Serendipity. Excuse me. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, just a little coincidence there. But anyway, so... Yes, the town of Stillwater, something's going on. Um, I thought this book was fantastic. Uh, and I know I say that about pretty much every book I review here, but then that's the point. I'm a freelancer. I can review what I want. Uh, I don't have to review things that I don't like. And the whole point of this is to review the things I do, uh, to shine a light on, on the books that I've enjoyed and hopefully someone else will enjoy. Um, and that's definitely the case here. Uh, Ronald Melfi is a fantastic writer. Um, um, very uh, descriptive. Not overly descriptive. Um, but uh, he has that nice... Uh, found that nice middle ground where um, it's not real sparse writing, but it's not overly verbose, I suppose. Um, it's just right. It, it certainly sets the atmosphere and uh, can send a chill up your spine. Um, he writes great characters. Uh, seem to be saying um a lot, this review. Uh, you've got uh, the police and uh, the, just the, the residents of Stillwater. All sorts of different people. You've got the white trash people and you've got the... Uh, I don't think there's anybody upper class. Like I said, Stillwater is a dying town. So you've got, I think it's lower middle class to lower class. Um, but of those two, <laughs> there's a good mix of the, the characters. Um, and, uh, man, I just finished this and I cannot remember the cop's name. His last name is Journal. I just can't remember what his first name is, but I guess he's kind of the main character. Uh, there's a lot of characters, a lot of different perspectives, um, but uh, I want to say it's Ben, but yeah, that's what it is. I don't even have to look. It's Ben Journal. Um, but yeah, he's, he's uh, kind of in charge of the police because the chief is on vacation, and so he gets stuck. <laughs> um trying to figure out what's going on, but uh, he's got other cops helping him, uh, and they're all interesting characters, very distinct, and um, 
He's got, uh, there's a young girl, Brandy, whose brother is one of the kids that's missing. Um, one of the people. It's not just kids. Uh, but she, uh, you know, wants to find out what happened to her brother. Um, the, now we're getting into potential spoiler territory, but uh, the evil that is invading Stillwater is uh, not something I've seen before. Uh, <clears throat> I posted on Facebook last night when I was reading. I said, I just finished part one and I did not see that coming. Um, and that's completely true. I, <laughs> I was kind of surprised, which if you read as much as I do, um, it, it's, it's difficult for an author to surprise me. Um, it's no fault of their own. It's just, uh, you know, you kind of, there's only so many stories uh, that can be told. So uh, it's, it's a matter of how it's told. Um, but on occasion, something new is, is out there. I shouldn't say on occasion. There are a lot of great authors doing some interesting and new things, but this one in particular kind of, uh, jumped out and said howdy <laughs> as, as something new. Um, so I was quite surprised and, uh, it works very well. Um, when I started reading this, I thought it was going to be uh, just another coming-of-age story, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, The Body by Stephen King, uh, which was, of course, the basis for the movie Stand By Me. Uh, Boy's Life by Robert McCammon. Um, just all sorts of, it seems to be a, a staple of horror authors that they, they write that coming-of-age story. Um, Ghoul by Brian Keene, great one. Uh, but anyway, I, th I thought that's what this was going to be, but it turns out, no, it's not. Um, so that was another little twist. I kind of, all right, this is, I know where we're going with this, generally. And then, nope, that is not what's going to happen here. So, uh, it's um, definitely original. Uh, you definitely get a feel for this this poor, dying town. Um, the I, th I think the title could have been Stillwater, and would have been just as uh, um, appropriate as the Narrows. Uh, both the town and the river are sort of characters in the story, um, but uh, I just keep looking over at the book. Not used to making eye contact. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it's, uh, just a, an amazingly well-written book, and, uh, that's a name you should make note of. Uh, everything I've read by him, the few things I've read, uh, I really enjoyed. Uh, I have a few more of his right now that I have not read yet. I chose this particular book to read now because it's Sam Hain, and I'm kind of, um, with a couple exceptions, making it a Sam Hain October, because um, <clears throat> that just seemed appropriate, since I'm doing all horror this month in honor of Halloween. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Sam Hain publishes uh, Mr. Malfi, uh, Medallion Press has done a few of his books, uh, they're a, a small press that I like, I'll be talking about some of their stuff uh, eventually. But, um, uh, this is another one. I, I know I say this a lot too, but this, sh he should be a household name. Um, you know, if people are reading Stephen King and Dean Koontz and, um, uh, they should be reading Ronald Malfi. Uh, I'm not a particular fan of Dean Koontz. Um, uh, Stephen King's hit and miss for me. Sometimes I love his stuff and sometimes I just find it incredibly boring. So far Ronald Malfi's been uh, has not has not bored me or disappointed me. Um, so I mean if you're looking for a good scary I was gonna say classic but I'm not sure that's 
necessarily the right word. It could be a classic. Um, this is another one I could see being made into a movie uh, with the right people doing it. Um, yeah, you get some good actors and a good director, someone who's faithful to the book. This could be creepy as hell, because the book is creepy as hell. Um, and I don't think you're going to see it coming. When you get to the, well, the end of part one, and then that's sort of the build-up part one. It's a little more than half the book, I think. And uh, it's just mystery upon mystery. It builds and builds. You're getting to know the characters. And, and then, boom, and part two becomes the race to the finish. Um... And what a what a finish it is. Uh, even the epilogue, which I like. I like when there's an epilogue. I like um, to see where the where the characters are after the main action of the story. Uh, you know, some books just sort of end, which is fine. Um, sometimes I oh. The first Dean Koontz book I read, um, I hated, and it just ended. It was very abrupt, and uh, a little too abrupt in my opinion. <laughs> but uh, but it, that's not always the case. Sometimes the action ends, and that's it. I mean, the story's told, but I like to see um, a little something, anyway, of the characters after... Uh, after the main story's done, so I like a good epilogue. Um, I know I should be looking at the camera, or at least at the screen, and not keep looking over at the book, but that's that's where my focus is. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, yes. <laughs> the Narrows, Ronald Melfi, just a fantastically written book, a great story, very creepy. Um, Again, just have a nice little light on when you're reading it. Uh, we had some storms going on, which was very appropriate uh, yesterday when I was reading. Uh, I kind of like that when the weather is nice enough to add a little atmosphere. But, uh, yeah. I really should make notes when I, when I do this. <laughs> Because um, I tend to ramble, in case you haven't noticed. But uh, I really just... I can't praise this book enough. It's... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Another one of those that I just uh, wanted to plow through. Uh, because it's so well written. And... Um, and uh, you, uh, you love the characters. As always, some of the characters you'll hate. But they're well written, interesting characters. Um, and you want to know what's going to happen. Uh, one in particular, I am not going to try to pronounce her last name. Um, her name's Maggie. Quadentok? I don't know how you would say it. Um, and I didn't, I didn't write it down on a piece of paper like I have in the past, because I hadn't actually planned on talking about her, but, um, uh, she's, um, I don't think you'll hate her. Uh, some of what she does is definitely questionable. But again, very interesting character. Um, one of those that we, you know, we jump from uh, the cop, Ben Journal, to uh, Brandy and her mom and a couple other people, but Maggie's one of the central characters. Possibly, if, if Ben Journal is the main character, then Maggie would be the secondary the main secondary character, secondary protagonist, whatever you would call it, because um, there's a lot with her, and um, I don't want to tell you what, because you got to read it and find out. <clears throat> but a very good, good, well-written character, not necessarily a good character. You know what I mean? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Um, so I. Th think that's all I've got for you. Just pick it up and read it. Uh, Halloween is just a few weeks away. You, you, you can't do 
much better than reading the Narrows for your Halloween read. Um, or any time, of course. But, uh, as I said, it just happens to take place right around Halloween, so that's a nice little added bonus for reading it in October. <laughs> um, so there you have it. As always, I'll put a link to the book in the description down below. If you have any corrections, comments, or questions, please put them in the comments below. Uh, if you know how to pronounce Quadentok, it's like Q-U-E-D-E-N-T-O-C-K. I may be missing a letter or two there because I'm not looking at it, but um, if you know how to pronounce that, please let me know. Um, I'm always happy to hear from people, uh, whether it's good or bad. Um, let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the book if you've read it or if you pick it up and read it because of the review. Please do support Sam Hain, support horror, support Ronald Malfi. He's a fantastic writer. And um, let's make him a household name as we should with pretty much everybody I talk about. Because as I said, I'm just reviewing the things that I like. Um, and, uh, okay, so please like, share, and subscribe, and I think that's all I've got this time. Um, my next review should be in a day or two, uh, cause I'm reading a, a pretty quick book. I've already jumped in about a quarter of the way through. <clears throat> um, not gonna tell you what it is yet. You'll find out in the next review, but it is an author who immediately goes to the top of my to-be-read pile, and I just got the book today. Um, so it's sort of, I had a whole plan for October, a bunch of Sam Hain books that I was going to read, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this one weaseled its way in because, I, as I said, this book, this author, always goes straight to the top of my to-be-read pile. Um, so there's a little tease there for the next review um, that's it for me Eric Smith and this episode of the low budget review show without theme music or fanfare uh, so until next time read more books